So this is a quick video to show the tooling that I use to make uh, these bottle openers. So the first thing is I start with quarter by three quarter by about uh, four and a half, five inches long. Then I use a slot punch to punch the slot in the steel. Once the slot punch has uh, punched a plug out and I have a slot, then I use a small drift and I drift that through the slot using my dial a hole, which is just a plate that is uh, precisely made for this anvil. Now you don't have to use something like this. You can just use a, a piece of steel with holes in it, but this plate situates these holes over the hardy hole. So I can start with very tiny holes. So generally I'll start with this third hole, which is just big enough for this drift to fall through. So I'll drift this pin drift, this small drift, through that slot and hammer it through until it falls through that hole. And when it falls through that hole, then I know I can move to my next hole. And to move to the next hole, this hole will be a little bit bigger. I'll then move to this quarter inch by five eighths. So it's, it, it tapers from quarter inch to five eighths. And then I'll go through here until this drift falls through the hole. And that makes this hole, that makes the bottle opener hole the size of this hole. Then I move over to the larger hole and I start using my larger drift. And at this point, I start drifting this hole open until it's about the size of a quarter or roughly about the size of this pin head right here. So once my bottle opener hole is about that big, then I know it's big enough to go over the top of a bottle. Uh, then I'll knock my corners down. And then once I have the hole, once I have this hole big enough and I knock my corners down and round all that out, I do all of that here on the horn. I round that out. So I'll, I'll hit, 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 and turn that around. And then I'll flip it and hit, 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 and turn that around. And you just work that, and that works the inside edges as well as your outside edges. So then you need to put the tab in it so that it grabs the edge of the bottle and pops it off. And I use the ball end fuller of this one inch drift. So this is kind of a dual purpose tool. This is my one inch drift for, for the final hole. But it's also, it's also uh, what I use to punch in this, uh, this tab. And uh, then I just use, I just use fullering dies over here on my fly press to put these shapes in the bottle opener. So that's how I make my bottle openers. And that's the tooling that I use. All of this is not necessary. You can actually do a lot of this with just a piece of plate steel that has two or three holes in it. The purpose of these holes is so that as you're drifting this hole wider, if you start with a really big hole or you start over a hardy hole and you start drifting this, then this is going to cave down into the hardy hole and the bottom of your uh, bottle opener is going to get all deformed. So you want to use, you want to use just big enough of a hole so that your circle your circular part of your bottle opener stays nice and uh, formed flat on the bottom so anyway hope that helps thanks bye